P is the opioid litigation, Ms. Dukes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. As a follow-up to the last update that the commission received from Ms. Haynes Stud Steel, there are two forms that you all will need to approve for us to be able to move forward in the process. So this is housekeeping related to that. We're just asking the commission's approval to have the chairman execute those forms. Any questions for Ms. Dukes? Just one of them. Okay. You know, we, we've, uh, I guess, went through this process so long that I've kind of forgotten what it originally was about, the opioid litigation, in a sense. Could sure. you tell us just what that was actually about? <clears throat> sure. This was a, a collective initiative nationwide that went after the distributors of opioid. So I think that some of the, the issues that local communities have had across the nation related to addiction that have resulted in an increase in cost of services, the number of people who were incarcerated, the number of crimes against persons have been related to drug use and abuse. And so this was just kind of a class action environment for communities across the nation to, to move forward against the distributors of those drugs. Um, there's been a settlement that has been reached, and so now we're going through kind of the, the filter through process of how um, that settlement finally gets down to local communities. So we had originally thought that it might come in the form of grants and programs and counseling services and those types of things, uh, but now it's our understanding there is going to be some sort of cash award um, so we're moving forward. have no idea yet what that might be. Um, it's not going to be millions of dollars, um, but this, this would be Lowndes County's portion based on the community impact that we have turned in. Appreciate it. You, you know, the Hatton's yeah. and McCoy's went at it so long sure. they forgot what they were fighting about. And right. That's, kind of that's it. Okay, agenda items.